All right, Jesse Delgado. Jesse, disappointing end to a, a uh, fabulous career, man. Two-time national champion, three-time All-American. And uh, you come out here and you, no one seeds you. You don't wrestle most of the season. All types of things going on. But talk about the raw emotions of, of ending your final campaign on an injury, Jesse. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's disappointing. But, uh, I mean, you, you have to play the hand you're dealt. So I got the cards I got, and I had to try and do what I could with them. All season, was it shoulder and then hamstring? Is that what I it was? It's my labrum. First, second match of the season, and then uh, tore my hamstring the last match of the season. Most guys wouldn't even have been able to compete. I look at you know just the pure toughness of you, and you know the pure toughness of Hunter Stever, and it's, it's like puts me in awe, man. Because most people would give up in that situation. Was it just like, hey, it's my last year, I got to do it? It's more of a like I said. It's I mean, it's the hand you dealt. You can't really say I was I was hurt, so if that's an excuse. It's, Everybody has something. Like, if it's emotional, physical. Everybody has something they have to overcome. And I, that's just the hand I had, and I had to play it. So. Looking at the last match, you injury default, second period. You get a standing ovation. How did that feel? Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize it was for me at the time, but I just. I don't know. I was more. In the moment, I guess. That's it. Loss. Looking at California wrestling, bringing Isaiah Martinez on your team, and, and you're a California guy. What's that like, bringing more California guys to the Midwest? They don't have the experience you had. I think uh, California has a lot of untapped talent. Uh, a lot of guys have a lot of potential and just don't end up fulfilling what, what they could. So I think it's good to get guys like Isaiah. Nico, myself, uh, out in the Midwest in the Big Ten program and just trying to you know, reach potential. Uh, you know, you are from uh, actually San Jose area, right? Yeah. The Bay Area. Yeah. Just south, right? 20 minutes south of San Jose. Yeah. Okay, so the weather's a little better there. Yeah. It's a little better there, period, to, in my opinion, you know. Um, not too far from Half Moon Bay. Yeah. Pretty nice. Monterey Bay. Yeah. Pretty nice area. What do you do next? What, what happens in your life next? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, Ben's been wanting me to, Askren's been wanting me to go train with him, so maybe I'll talk to him. Uh, I know Mark's going to want me to stay. And, uh, I, don't know, I wouldn't mind helping these guys accomplish something that you know, I, I couldn't do this year, but did the last couple of years. Uh, I don't know. It's, I have no idea right now, but it's exciting. It's, it's, I feel like the world's at my fingertips and I have uh, potential to do whatever I want, I guess. Uh, when you say Askren, does that mean fighting when you say that? Yeah, Ben's been, Ben's been really adamant about getting me to go train fighting with him, but uh, I, I know my mom wouldn't like that too much. <laughs> I was talking to Mark's uh, Megan, she's kind of like... Mark and no, I mean I'm sure you know Mark's like family to me. Megan doesn't want me to fight. No. I don't know. A lot of people don't want me to do it, but I think it'd be kind of fun. We'll see. Do you mind getting punched in the face? That's what I asked Ben too, and he said it was a lot like getting hit with a knee when you take a shot. I don't know how how true that is, but I, don't, I mean I don't mind getting hit. It's not like something something I'm scared of. I'm not scared of getting punched in the face. I, I'd be okay with that. Just, I'm not sure how good I would be at it. California, you gonna move back? You gonna try and stay here? You know, I guess that's. Would you, would you move back and coach in California? Was that something you think about doing? I don't know if I'd want to do that. I, I, besides the winter, I really do like the Midwest a lot. People are pretty cool, and uh, I mean, I, I feel like Illinois has become my home uh, more so than California. I even think. Just the people, uh, the fans I've got to meet, the relationships I've built. Uh, I feel like Illinois has become my home in the last five years. So I wouldn't mind staying out here. If there's one thing you want people to know, you know, about Jesse Delgado, what is it? I mean, it's, a lot of people don't have a very high opinion of me, but uh, every time I went out there, I, I try. I mean, I try my best to score. I try my best to win. At the end of the day, I just 
I did it because of, I love that feeling I, that I got when my feet touched the mat and I was moving my feet well and when I looked across the mat and I saw someone staring at me and they were ready to go and I was ready to go, it's, that's what I did it for. I mean, I, I wasn't trying to stall my way to any wins or try to pull one over on anyone. It was, I just, I loved just competing. It was something I loved doing. All right, man. Thanks for the time. Rough end to a great career. Congratulations on a great career, man. Thanks.